To automatically scan a solution at a range of wavelengths, we run an automatic scan. We first zero the spectrophotometer using a blank of either water or buffer, depending on the solvent we use to dissolve our compound. To set the baseline of zero with our blank, we press the scan button to open up the scan menu. We then go down and select baseline menu, then store baseline, which will store the absorbance of the blank. We then enter the parameters. The wavelength we want the scan to begin with is 400 nanometers. Enter. The wavelength we want the end to end our scan with is 700 nanometers. Press enter. And the speed, 600 nanometers per minute. And enter again. We can then load the blank. But before we do, make sure there are no fingerprints on the outside of the cuvette, which may reflect or absorb light. Because of this, it is good practice to hold it from the top and not the sides. And gently tap or flick the cuvette to get rid of any air bubbles which may scatter light. Notice how the cuvette is around two thirds full. This ensures that all the light from the spectrophotometer is passing through the solution, but is not too full to spill over easily. Then we can load our blank and press run. The screen will say storing baseline. The blank tells the spectrophotometer what zero is, so the absorbance of the cuvette and solvent are accounted for. Here it shows the wavelengths which are being scanned. It takes a few minutes for all the wavelengths to be scanned, so do not panic. When it has finished, the baseline will be set for all wavelengths within 400 to 700 nanometers. We then have to type the parameters we want our solution of interest to be scanned at. The same as the blank, the start wavelength is 400 nanometers. Enter. The end wavelength is 700 nanometers. Enter. And the speed is 600 nanometers. Enter. The next parameters are scale. Every centimeter on our absorbance spectrum will represent 25 nanometers. Enter. Y axis, our minimum absorbance will be zero. Enter. And the maximum will be 1.5. Enter. So any absorbances outside this range will not be shown in our absorbance spectrum. Now we can load our sample and press run. When it has finished, you can press run again to print out a copy of the absorbance spectrum.